Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different. We all know the popular and strongest compositions, whether it be from playing the game, watching streams, looking at guides, or even paying attention to our very own tier lists here at Skillcapped. But what about those compositions that we don't see too often? Well, in today's video, we're going to be spotlighting some and taking a look at what makes them work along with their strengths and weaknesses. The first composition we're going to be taking a look at is Rhett Paladin, Destro Warlock, Resto Shaman. Most Rhett Paladins team up with Warriors to play a more cleave style of gameplay, but this niche composition has been having a lot of success on the European ladder. Rhett brings utility that both Resto Shaman and Destro heavily benefit from, with Shamans gaining the permanent wisdom to solve mana issues along with Blessing of Sanctuary to help keep them further out of CC. Blessing of Protection is also huge for Destro Warlocks, who are most likely going to be the target in this composition allowing them to have some extra wiggle room defensively and even giving them the opportunity to freely cast. Defensively, this composition is solid, but so is its offense. Rep Paladin's biggest weakness is usually with maintaining uptime in some of their more popular compositions. But in this comp, players don't have the opportunity to run around in the open and kite you. If they do, they're just going to be tanking bolts. So it forces you to have to play around the pillar to counter the Destro Warlock. And when you do that, the Rhett can have free reign leaving and having all the uptime in the world. This composition also has some of the strongest offensive cooldowns in the game. We all know the power of Warlock's Dark Soul paired up with their Infernal. Well, imagine that combined with a rat also having wings popped. Not only does Rhett Destro have very high sustained damage throughout a game, they're capable of extremely potent setups with a Hammer of Justice into Coil and any other small CCs like Cap Totem or even Infernal Stun thrown in. The reason we think this comp remains to be so heavily underrepresented despite its obvious strengths is just how Rhett as a class is just lacking representation to begin with. Not to mention, it's fair to say convincing a Destro Warlock to play with this over their 10 other strong compositions is going to be a challenge in itself. Our next composition is also focused around Rep Paladin and takes two of the more niche and lesser represented specs and makes a very strong comp. Who said two wrongs doesn't make a right? Rhett, Sub, Disc, or H Pala is something that's often seen at the highest levels of play on the European ladder. This composition is one that looks extremely fun to play and as somebody who has faced it multiple times, I can testify to just how strong this really is. How this unique comp works is by looking to almost cheese players and put them in an impossible situation. Make one wrong move against it and it's good night. Usually the sub rogue will look to CC the healer in the opener with a combination of triple sap, blind kidney shot, and then shadowy duel while the rep pops his crusade on a lone DPS. And as we all know, a rep paladin with crusade up is going to do a lot of work with your healer taking care of the third player, putting them into either a fear or a hodge. Often the rep paladin can kill the lone DPS two or three times over before the healer gets out of the sub rogue CC. I've faced this multiple times and it's been on more than one occasion that I've died through both swap and dispersion while my healer is yet to play the game. This then forces the DPS to trade a ton of defensives or the enemy healer has to trink it. And this is without the sub rogue doing any damage. He's just been sitting in stealth crowd controlling this entire time. Afterwards, based on trinkets or defensive cooldowns used, you can look to either one shot the DPS in a smoke bomb, swap to the healer who trinketed, there is just so much potential with this composition. The reason this comp isn't seen too often is just the raw amount of coordination that it requires. Not to mention the scarcity of both rep paladins and also sub rogues. Not really a comp that you can just pick up and play from group finder for instance, but nonetheless a very strong niche composition. The next niche composition to touch on is going to be Shatterplay. While this comp is no stranger to the limelight being insanely strong in previous expansions, since recent times though, Shatterplay hasn't really found its footing. Thanks to the addition of Corruption though, especially Ineffable Truth for Holy Paladins, this comp has started to gain more traction, especially on the North American ladder. Shatterplay has some of, if not the highest crowd control in the game, having stun, fear, polymorph, and even silence. Combine all that CC with the burst of a fire mage and you can see why this composition is starting to see more play. This comp also allows Holy Paladins to make the most out of full ineffable truth. And as we all know, the interaction with Fist of Justice means Holy Paladin can not only stun for CC, but also stun for kill target the next global. Shatterplay now is played primarily with the mage going fire, 
this gives you a lot more sustained damage while still posing as a double threat composition that shadow play would otherwise offer just with a ton of cc and more setup damage thrown into the mix while doing very well in the melee cleaves shadow play can struggle in some caster mirrors and with elementals and destro warlocks being so prominent on higher ratings shadow play isn't as popular as it could be the next comp on our list is something that if you've played at high ratings or watched streams from na ladder you would have seen protection paladin unholy dk and resto shaman is a comp pioneered by one prop paladin main who has found great success with it saying the comp does very well into a lot of strong meta compositions right now protection paladins offer a lot of utility and also off fields to their team while still bringing competitive damage not only that protection paladin helps cover up some of the unholy dk's inherent flaws unholy tends to struggle with both surviving and also maintaining uptime onto slippery targets well protection paladin not only has freedom for them but also a way to consistently remove slows in an aoe radius with their consecration coming from the hollowed ground pvp talent with protection further bringing some more lockdown from their shield of virtue silence paired up with the 50 different ways a dk can stop your cast and also with a shaman in the mix means if this composition doesn't want you to cast then you're probably not going to this can make even Destro Warlocks practically useless, while giving you an option to also train down healers without them being able to cast a single heal. The one thing keeping this comp under wraps is just how uncommon it is to find players willing or able to play Prop Helen, being such an incredibly niche spec in itself. All right, if you're like me and you're fed up with Destro Warlock in every single game you queue, then you'll be excited to hear about our next comp, which pioneers Demonology. How this comp manages to work better than Destro is with how Demonology plays. Demo has a lot of instant burst damage that they can get with relative ease from their instant Demon Bolts, while having access to Succubus to help in securing CC without losing access to their spell lock thanks to PvP talents. So we have more reliant instant burst damage, easier to secure CC paired up with a survival hunter bringing mortal strike and even more CC on a different DR means this composition takes a heavy CC and setup based approach to games, something that you don't see from a plethora of destruction warlocks out there. Demonology has struggled with its lack of defense, not having the mastery of a Destro Warlock or even Demon Armor means that they can often be easy targets. Well, thanks to the high obtainable amounts of versatility with targetable corruption you can now achieve, Demo is starting to make a comeback, especially thanks to the nerfs to Reaping Flames no longer being abused on their low health wild imps. The problem with this composition though is just why play Demo when you could be playing Destro? It's a sad reality that holds a lot of these strong, unique compositions back as a whole. Coming up next, we've got Boomkin, Destro Warlock, Mistweaver. This composition is rarely seen, but has made appearances at high ratings on both the NA and EU ladders alike, offering a high damage composition that can play multiple different styles, purely maximizing damage, allowing Boomkins to run with full gushing thanks to the pressure applied by a Destro Warlock. This can result in both damage dealers doing a passive 30k plus DPS each, with hard-hitting Chaos Bolts and Star Surges coming in to help close out games. As with most Destro comps, you're almost forced to shut them down to prevent the consistent rain of Chaos Bolts. Well, Balanced Druids when left free can have some huge impact on a game rotating Cyclones. Boomkin Destruction Mistweaver also brings some very high CC if they can utilize Root Beam. Combining Root Beam with Cyclones or Fears and then following up with Leg Sweep, Coil, or Paralyze. This is just all around an extremely strong composition that we don't see too much of. The main reason for this is that, as with most Destro Warlocks, there are just better compositions out there for them. So if you're a Boomkin, convincing your Destro friends to queue up with you is an uphill battle. Our final composition making it into the spotlight is Feral, Shadow, Mistweaver. This one found a lot of success on the European ladder, reaching front page. How this comp works is the same as most melee Shadow Priest comps. Your melee brings a ton of consistent pressure while you throw some instant CC at the healer. While you are lacking a mortal strike, Feral Mistweaver brings the reduced health from Ferocious Wounds. Feral also brings a considerable amount of stuns from Maim and their Bash, which can be rotated with your Monk's Leg Sweep to further keep enemy healers locked down in your potential instant CC chains. Also, with Shadow Priest soaking up a lot of pressure, it allows the Feral to play more calculated, opening up a lot of room to rotate Cyclones as a further extension to keep your CC or as a way to keep targets low or even relieve pressure thorns can also provide a ton of added pressure as putting them up on the shadow priest and kiting as a feral will give the enemy no good targets this is just a very well-rounded melee caster healer cc comp that does extremely well on the ladder all right everyone that's going to be it for some of the top niche comps that we're seeing impact the ladder as of late and remember just because something isn't popular or considered meta it doesn't mean that it can't perform well thanks for watching and we'll see you next time